fucking existence. Yeah, y'all. So, um, I knew this was gonna be short. I knew it. I'm done. I ain't got shit else to say about this so, fucking movie. Let's talk about nineties. I'm looking for my bookmarks. Oh, you prepared? I'm just nineties <laughs> animated TV show. Wait, what? When did this? I <laughs> did a whole nineties thing. I was just like, it's just gonna, I'm just gonna talk about the nineties. So. This so this, this is a, this is right. I love the '90s. Okay. This movie was in the '90s. '90s animated TV shows. Okay, I have no idea where this is going. Okay. Do you remember the Rugrats? <laughs> Actually, I do. I love the Rugrats. Yes. Yeah. Rugrats. Those little bobbleheaded little kids. Mm-hmm. Look like Cabbage Patch Kids animated. Right. Mm-hmm. Who always mix up the words do, do, to what they do, were saying? Do, do, Angelica. Do, do. Susie Carmichael was the bad bitch. Okay. Wait, so why was Susie Carmichael the bad bitch? Because she was black. And she was smart. Oh. She was a bad bitch. I remember Angelica because she was a fucking cunt. Angelica was a demon. Spawn. Okay? Let's see. Yeah. Some other... Come on. Um, Dexter's Laboratory was in the 90s, apparently. <laughs> Yo, like that whole, that whole crap. Why did he have an accent? And no and one his else family did. Family didn't have an accent. I don't understand. Because he was Z German. That's why. Yeah, that's not cool, y'all. Yeah. I think that's pretty bad. Batman the animated series. I used to watch that. Now that, yo, do you know who played the Joker in that? Yeah, Mark Hamill. Luke fucking Skywalker was the Joker. Luke fucking the Skywalker. best Joker of the nineties. Mm, best the Joker 90s. of the nineties. Mm-hmm. Uh, is Jack Nicholson? In Best Joker of the 90s. Don't. I'm asking, is Jack Nicholson in the 90s? I don't know, but even if he was, mm. Best Joker of the 90s was Mark Hamill. I don't know. Because okay. he had that laugh. That Joker laugh from okay. the animated series. If you're going to go, go with a smile. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You ever dance with the devil in a pair of moonlight? I mean, but I think Keith Ledger's was way better. You said the 90s. I'm just saying, like, I mean, Jack Jax was iconic, but he played it more campy. Like, you know. Animaniacs? I love. First of all, we're going way too fast, okay? Like, I'm still on Rugrats. You, you, you running through these bitches. Yeah. Okay. If we go talk animated series, we need to talk about animated series. I am a cartoon freak. I love cartoons. Duck tales, right. Yeah. One at a time. I'm just sure, just slow, song. slow it up. The, the, the danger. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Animaniacs. Oh man. Might be. The funniest cartoon of the 90s. Definitely. There are so many jokes in Animaniacs that... So, like, so highbrow. Animaniacs hit you at every... Above, way above people's heads. Way above your head. But when you rewatch them, you're like, wait a minute. Like, there's there's this there's, scene there's where, where, they're, where they're going against... Uh, oh, God, the Russian motherfucker who's supposed to be the wizard. And he That's goes... Thomas? Not Nostradamus. I oh. uh, can't remember his name. Okay. But he, he goes, for this we're going to need a little Anastasia. And a little girl with a big ass hammer hits the dude over the head. You sure what Nostradamus did? It's not Nostradamus. Anastasia? No. Okay. No. Yeah. It's not. Oh, God. I can't remember his fucking name. I don't know. Anyway. The Anastasia joke is a joke about the crown princess of Russia. Right. Who went missing. Yeah. And it's not Nostradamus. Nostradamus was the the quatrain dude who supposedly predicts everything. That's not Nostradamus. It's uh, Svengoolie or something like that. Spindle. Rasputin. There it is. Rasputin. Rasputin. Grigory Rasputin. Mm. Right. So it was. They were. They they were fighting against Rasputin. And so like I remember watching that, and I was like, I understood that because we just read about Anastasia in history class. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, like, and it was like, ask your parents. I was like, no, I was like, no, I get that joke. Of course, Who I was. Ask the parents, the TV. Yeah, and you they, said, they would do no, that. I, I get the joke. Well, because it was for it was for younger kids, right? No, but I was I was in high school at the time. So and then like of course, Pinky and the fucking brain. The Pinky and the came out of that. Pinky what about uh Mindy, what the little kid? The Mindy and Button. Yes. Like like all like there was a lot. That, it was like that's it was part, yeah. That's part of like it was a sketch comedy show with animated characters. Chicken boo, you wear a disguise to look like human guys, but, but you're not, not a man, man. You're, you're a chicken, chicken boo. boo. Yes. <laughs> and like chicken boo is like perfect example of how everyone puts everything on you. Mm-hmm. 
Because he would just stand there being a big ass fucking chicken. That's all he would do. That's all. That's all he would do. And people would like make this whole life up for him just because he was a blank canvas. Right? Which tells weird. you about the way people operate. Like, like Animaniacs was like he sneaky really looked good. At it like that, but yeah. Huh? So if you looked at it like that, I guess. But yeah. that's what it really is, right? Yeah. Because this chicken would just stand there and like all this shit would happen to him and then they would blame him for everything that went on. And he would just walk off. He'd just pimp off in the sunset afterwards. Like, oh, well. Like, what you gonna do? You can't arrest a chicken, y'all. Right, I'm just a chicken. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pimp off into the sunset. Meanwhile, they over here all mad at him because of some shit that they did. Mm. Like, that's how people project their shit onto you. Mm. Like, you see what I'm saying? And then, what's her name? Uh, Slappy Squirrel? That's my yeah, Slappy. You know, so it's like, like yes. there was so much. So many memories. There was so much from Animaniacs. Animaniacs is amazing. Yes. It was one. Um, it came out in 1993. Speaking of Dexter's Laboratory, there was a whole slew of cartoons there for Cartoon Network. You had Dexter's Laboratory. You had Johnny Bravo. Was Johnny Bravo in the 90s? Yeah. It all came out around the same time. Mm. All that shit. Because when Cartoon Network first started, it was just all Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Hmm. That's what it was. It was all old Hanna-Barbera cartoons. So it was all like, you know... Like Flintstones and shit like that. Like it was just all old. Just I, I was never into Hanna Barbera back in the day. It was okay. It was, it was okay. But we're talking about the nineties, right? But like, but that that was the first wave of like Powerpuff Girls was in that wave. I didn't know Johnny I never Bravo. Liked the Powerpuff Girls. You know, I love the Powerpuff Girls. Not um, a fan. Johnny Bravo was in that wave. I loved Dexter's Lab Laboratory. Obviously, duh. That of was course. my shit. Nerd. Right. Nerd. I'm a nerd. So, so this is Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon had their these own are just, thing. This is me listening. These are right. So that's so Rugrats and Doug were Nickelodeon. I like Doug. So is this just gonna be you like just singing different theme songs to? Is if that they a, is come that? to me, yes. <laughs> go on. I don't have no you. Go ahead, you. You obviously had this plan. Don't let me stand it. Dark Queen Duck. When this come, you call DW. Yeah. Dark Queen Duck. Dark Queen. Dark Queen Duck. You know, I was never a fan <laughs> of the Disney uh, really? thing. But uh, I did. I, I, I Duck, did. Man. Yeah, Dark Queen Duck was the exception. Mm -hmm. Like, I was not that into DuckTales. Woo. I just, yeah. Well, there's only so much time. You know what I'm saying? And you can only watch so much. I like, now you can watch everything because everything's fucking Okay, so streaming. listen. The 90s, when these shows were coming on, like, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. It says 89. Uh-huh. But, so, yeah, I that's, mean, that's in the 90s. You, you, where is it at? Darkwing Duck, 91. I was 13, 14. <laughs> 13, 14 years old. So, I'm still watching cartoons in high school. Still watching cartoons all the way up to senior year. Still watch cartoons today. <laughs> Shit, I still watch cartoons. I'm 40 okay. something. I still watch cartoons now. All right. Fuck right. out of here with that. Because I fucking love cartoons. Cartoons are the shiz. All right. Oh, my God. Recess. Recess. Recess was, was kind of tight. Shit. Spinelli. Yes. Yeah, you was okay. a Spinelli person, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, I knew it. Recess was the shit. Ugh. Yeah. That was the shit. Yeah. Recess was interesting. I didn't use okay. It says Tiny Toons, uh, not Tiny Toons. Tiny Toons definitely was is on here, but that's not what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, Tiny Toons was the shit too. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, here here's where I have a problem. I still could never tell them apart. I well, don't care. It, if you it, put it, it depends on the colored bandana. Didn't make a difference. It's the colored it bandana. Just... It's the color. So blue was Leonardo. Leonardo. He was the one with the two swords, right? Purple so? purple was Donatello. He was the one with the bow staff. Uh -huh. Orange was Michelangelo. He was the one with the nunchuck, nunchucks. Mm -hmm. And red was Raphael. He was the one with the sign. But here's the issue I have. Never made a difference to me. <laughs> the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that you're talking about, I was never into. Crack. Crank. Whatever. The Teenage Mutant Turtles that I was into started off as a manga. Oh. It was a comic book. It was mm -hmm. hyper fucking violent. Okay. Black and white. It was. I think it was actually American made, but it was drawn in the anime style. Mm -hmm. It was fucking amazing. I bet. It was amazing. What they did to I it. I can't get into manga like that. 
I, I get it, but it was like it was it was considered graphic novel. It wasn't really a manga because it wasn't from Japan. Right. But it had that art style. Mm-hmm. It was very edgy, black and white, very mature stories, like lots of killing and shit like that. Yo, the uh, you remember the dude with the hockey mask from there? Casey. Oh yeah. Casey mm-hmm. Jones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was fucking nuts. His hockey sticks had steel on the edge and they were sharpened. He was slicing motherfuckers' heads off in the comics. Mm. Casey Jones was a yeah, they watered it out quite a bit for... They watered everything now. For the but movies. But they had to in order, you know, if they didn't water it down, it wouldn't explode the way it did and we wouldn't still have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now. And now, when you look Ugh. at the new the new uh, animated, it's more anime-style animation. Still watered down, but I remember those, those reading those remember graphic when novels. April O'Neil actually was a news journalist and she actually did <sighs> news... Journalism and it wasn't movie. wasn't just getting game banged by four turtles. And she just wasn't Megan Fox in a skirt and devoid of any talent, anything, <laughs> yeah, whatsoever. Well, I mean, April O'Neil was definitely April O'Neil was definitely the lowest lane of the turtle universe. Yeah. That's what she was. She she served as that. See, that's why I can't get into shit like that. What the damsel in distress? Yeah, I, I can't can't get into that. Even as a kid, I couldn't get into that. I just, no. I, I like my women strong. A little, you know, you gotta be able to do some shit on your own, okay? Then X-Men was for you. Of course! That was in the 90s. Several very strong. The only weak female character was Jubilee, and that's because her power was weak. Rogue had issues mentally, though, but that's because she had Captain Marvel inside of her. Why we could never get a Rogue and a good one? What do you mean? In the X-Men movies, man. They, look, there's so there's so much wrong with the first X-Men movies. Okay. What happened to the Gambit? Oh, come on, man. They did him. They they had him in one movie. And it was horrible. Because the movie Fucking was terrible. Fucking horrible. Gambit, Gambit was my favorite X-Men. He was one of my favorite X-Men. He was my favorite X-Men. Everyone loves Wolverine. Of course I love Wolverine, right? Of course. Wolverine's indestructible and all that, right? But You're badass. But like for for me, my my th- like my outside of Wolverine, my favorite X Men were Gambit and Bishop. Right? Do you know who Bishop is? I know who Bishop is, but Bishop was later on. It yeah. wasn't in the beginning. But Gambit. So my favorite ones was Storm. Of course. Of course. Right. She's black. Mm-hmm. Duh. Um, I fucks with Bishop because he's black too. Yeah. Yeah. Wolverine. Cause um, Gambit. Yeah. Uh, Rogue. Yeah. Uh, but Rogue's power isn't the power that she shows. I wasn't into Jean Grey. I could care less about the Phoenix. I really could. Well, okay. So like, reading the comic books growing up, Jean Grey was original. It was her beast, Cyclops. Uh, I think it was Iceman and it was somebody else. Angel. Before he became Archangel, before a cop apocalypse got to him. Right. So Jean Grey was <clears throat> she was telekinetic and telepathic. Yeah. So like her power was amazing, but she she had trouble controlling it. But they made her she was always the damsel in distress to Cyclops and I hated that shit. Yeah, see that again. I hated that shit. I really did. Um I always like Gambit's First power. First of all, Jean Grey was never anyone's damsel in distress. I mean, look look at the power she got. Why would she need... No, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, what was his real... No. Is it with an S? Who? Cyclops real name? Scott Summers? Yeah, Scott. No, Scott. Mm-hmm. Shut up! Mm-hmm. And his brother, Havoc. Both of them, his came from his eyes. Havoc's came from his body. But basically the same... Mutation. I don't know. No. They they had him in one of the movies. Mm. You had to be into the comic books to know who Havoc was. There's yeah. just a, there's a lot of people in the X Men universe. Um, a ton. Oh, you Buck-ton. you know Deadpool and all of that. Yeah. Um, Deadpool. Colossus. Yeah. The, um, Colossus. I love Colossus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Colossus Colossus is the strong man of it. Cause you you know you needed somebody to fight Juggernaut basically. I'm oh. the Juggernaut, mm. bitch. Right. Cable. From the from Ain't the that second. Somebody yes. Somebody's son or something. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Cable is the son of Scott Summers and Jean Grey, mm-hmm. who Apocalypse no infected issue. with an organic, um, organic metal that eats his body. Mm-hmm. 
So Cable's power, like, Cable has psionic power, so his power keeps the organic shit at bay. That lets, it keeps him alive. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. because his powers are so strong, he could have destroyed Apocalypse like Very that. Very scientific. Right, so Apocalypse sought to neutralize him, so he infected him with the organic, the liquid metal. So that's why half a cable is like metal. He got the one eye and shit mm-hmm. right there. So cable basically, all his power goes to keeping him alive. So he just turned himself into the baddest motherfucking soldier in the history of all history, and he still be fucking apocalypse up. Speaking of mothers with lots of children, mystique. <laughs> well, mystique. when you when you when you can shape shift, you can be everyone's fantasy, right? Yeah. See, I wish that they would have explored that. In the movies, too adult. Many children. Too adult. Get well, I mean, like Night Nightcrawler is her son with Azazel. Rogue. Rogue is, is her daughter. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The I think Toad is her son. Like Mystique been around forever because she can shapeshift. She's almost immortal the way uh, Wolverine is. I think that's how it works. Because she can shift at a cellular level, so she's always renewing herself. So, like, I don't think she has a normal lifespan. Mm. Like, there's some kind of healing factor that goes Didn't on. Didn't they kill her in the movie? She can... Right. It doesn't work the way Wolverine does. Mm. Like, like Wolverine is always regenerating. So, he never dies Except on a cellular level. Except for the level. last one. Huh? Except for the last one. Come on, Logan. R.I.P. Wolverine. He went out like a fucking G, though. Yeah, he did. That was the best X-Men movie. Because it was fucking rated R. Best X-Men movie ever. Right, and the one related... Deadpool, rated R. Like, look... Also, great movie. I understand that you want to get as many people as possible into a movie theater. That's fine. Right? And that's yeah, fine. But that's fine. let me tell you something. There is t- there is room for R-rated material. Yes, sir. There is room for it. Deadpool was the perfect example. He proved it. And so they did something strong with Logan. Mm-hmm. Right? Wolverine's never been a cuddly character. If you don't let Wolverine chop motherfuckers piece, pieces of people off, then... What is the point? Yeah, what's the point? <laughs> you <laughs> neutered him. What's the point? Think of, think of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and every other X-Man. He only stabbed one person. He never chopped nobody's shit off. Yeah, and there was hardly any blood. If right. there was, I don't recall. And then Logan, he was mowing motherfuckers down. Yeah. Mowing them down. Good movie. Um, and then the Wolverine movies they did before that was so terrible. <laughs> they were, both the, of them were terrible. With the fucked up ass Deadpool. Ugh. Ugh. That was horrible. Yeah. Well, I mean, Ryan... Uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy who plays Deadpool. What the fuck? Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. He goes back and kills that Deadpool. The... So what does that mean? Because he <laughs> went back. No, he went back and killed himself. Uh-huh. Reading the dead. Reading the Wolverine script. Re, 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 yeah, yeah. So what? The... See, I don't know. It's see, just funny. See, you making me think. <laughs> I, I don't appreciate that because I'm like, what? So Ryan does Reynolds that mean? is a Ryan dick. Reynolds like... doesn't exist anymore because if you killed yourself before. The Deadpool, the movie. He killed that version. No, see, when he kills himself in that version, he kills that timeline version of him. So he got rid of that Deadpool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's move on to 90s movies. Well, we just, well like, aren't we going to be doing other movies, like, as part of the thing? Should we really go into this? I mean, depends on what you do. Okay, I guess. All right, sure. Mm-hmm. So, in the 90s, there were a lot of movies. Yes, as there are every decade. Oh, no, but I mean, there was... Okay, I'm just going to name some movies for you. Mermaids. That is Winona Wider, Cher, and the dude that was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I don't remember his name. I, 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 don't, I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins. Okay. Throwing, just pulling shit out there. Mm-hmm. Okay? Funny movie. Well, uh, funny... Never seen it. It's you, interesting. You you lost me at Sharon Winona Ryder. Of course I did. <laughs> I mean, not not that you know. You lost me at comedy, Cher no, and Winona Ryder. Uh, comedy. No. Uh, just watch the movie. I'm just gonna give you some recommendations. I'm good. Recommend recommendations for '90s movies. 
that might be interesting to you. To who? Me? The oh, the audience. Oh, okay. The people. Right. Yeah, because... Okay. Uh, There's Ben and June. Who is this? See, this is what happens, all right? How you turn your sound off? Ring tone. Off. There we go. There we go. Ben and June. Johnny Gill. You mean Benny and June? Benny and June. Johnny Gill. I yeah. said Johnny Gill. First of all... <laughs> You got me saying, my, 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 my. Oh. Wow. Go, go, go. Okay. So, uh, Ben and June. Benny and June. Say Benny it right. <laughs> it just, I don't know. <laughs> so how you recommend the movie? Don't even fucking know the name. That's ridiculous. Okay, Benny and June. Um, it's, not, it's not Johnny Gill. It's Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Uh-huh. I don't know if he, he's kind of special needs. And the girl who plays June is I think also, they both kind of. She definitely is playing, but it's an interesting movie. Um, they couldn't make it today, I don't think, at all. No one would go for that at all. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. You know, so, fried green tomatoes. <laughs> the Whistle Stop Cafe, that's, uh, what's it, Kathy Bates and, uh. Kathy Bates. And, uh. Fucking, uh, to Wanda. Girl next door. Who's the girl next? Julia door? Roberts. No, no Julia Roberts. Are you sure? No Julia Roberts. Why did I think it was Julia Roberts in there? No, 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 no. It's a good movie. It's definitely watch worth watching at least once. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I would not recommend eating fried green tomatoes at all. Because there's tomatoes and I don't like tomatoes like that. Spoiler alert. Someone gets chopped up. And, and made into barbecue. Made into barbecue. So that's always a plus. I mean, come on. Really? <laughs> I just going to give you gonna give away the main part. How you going to do that though? That is. That's the biggest part. No. I mean, that's part of the movie. But the whole point of the movie is friendship and Sisterly bonding and and know, cutting a motherfucker up in pieces and making a barbecue. I, I mean, look, so sometimes you have to hide a body, you know. Sometimes, I'm just give you suggestions on how to do it. Get out. Okay. Can't try that shit now, but I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having a good time? Clueless. Clueless. As if. Uh huh. Share. Definitely is worth a watch. Okay. Are they were supposed to be remaking it or something? I don't know what happened with that. Um. As long as they don't bring back Stacy, whatever her name Stacey is. Stacy Dash. I'm good. You know, just don't bring her back. I'm so good on that altogether. Don't need it. You know, there was even a TV show for a little brief moment. Cool. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I remember. I remember. Uh huh. Jawbreakers. I killed her. I killed the queen. I killed the, um, whatever she said. So, yeah, so Jawbreaker. Uh huh. These stupid girls put a jawbreaker in their friend's mouth and tape it shut. So she suffocates. Stuck right here. Uh -huh. She choked Dies. to death. Stupid, because you're not supposed to put a jawbreaker in someone's mouth and tape their mouth shut and put them in the back of your trunk to pretend for a birthday surprise of kidnapping them and then you wake up with a dead body in your car and then you get in and you know shit happens you know white people, the white, people think, white people think friendship is weird okay like this, this i don't get that i don't understand how that y'all think that shit is funny is so crazy heathers <laughs> off the top of my dome heathers doesn't is, that the, is that the one with uh no the writer and Christian Slater? Yes. Oh, God, no. Does not hold up. Ugh. That piece of okay. trash. But back then... There was a lot of shitty movies in the 90s. It was good, okay? It was never good. You just thought it was good. You didn't have no fucking taste. Here's one for you. What about Bob? Now that is fucking good. That came out in 1991. That shit's amazing. Mm-hmm. Since we, since we talked about early 90s, what about fucking Misery? Oh, I'm sure it's on the 1990. List. Kathy Bates is evil. Yes. Scary as shit. Man, when she oh. clucked the things together on those boy legs. I was 
looked like ah! His little, his little feet were like this. <laughs> Let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> so fucked up. That's that's how evil that's looks crazy. in the real world. That's, that's crazy. That she she was so scary. Super fan. Because it was so real. Mm. It wasn't over the top. It was very understated. Matter of fact, she was just like, "Oh no, it should be this way." Mm-hmm. Right, that's how evil really is. You're like, how the fuck could someone think that? Like, evil isn't like a lot of times in like film, like evil is like very operatic, very over the top. Yeah, yeah, it it never works that way in the real world. Evil comes to you, and it it's in its mind, it seems perfectly reasonable. Like, oh yeah, this is just something we do. Yeah, sure. You don't do that. You're weird. How do you think it's weird to not like detain children on the border and? Having them sleeping in floors and then pissing and ripping them from their kids. It's a perfectly normal thing to do. What? What? Uh-uh. You, you, you don't think... You, 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 it's weird that you don't want Mexicans in concentration camp. What's wrong with you? I'm trying not to be angry right now. I mean, but like, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's how it really works. Yeah. Um, And that's what made Kathy Bates' She's... portrayal so good. Like, only an actress who... Right. She didn't overact it. She didn't oversell it. Mm-hmm. Right? That's what, like, we were talking about. Uh, Kathy Batman. Bates don't get her dues. She has been in a lot of roles, and a lot of them are good. She she's is really so good. really good on American Horror Stories, man. She she is so good. <clears throat> on In anything. Yeah. Like, I think. Who's the one that everyone always talks about is so great? Meryl Streep? Meryl Streep. Kathy Bates washes Meryl Streep in my book. Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep, because I don't watch a lot of Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep makes the most there are a lot of boring, and I'm not into a lot but they're, of they're not, movies. they're not entertaining. Like, I've never seen a Meryl Streep movie, and I was like, oh, uh, well, maybe she might have been in a couple, but like, they, everyone always fawns over her about her acting. I don't think so. I think Kathy Bates is my kind of actor, right? She, it don't matter what the role is, it don't matter what you want her to be, what's the one... Where she goes, face it, darling, I'm older and I have better insurance. When she That's fuck- fried green tomatoes. That's fried green tomatoes. That shit was <laughs> yeah. hysterical. That's fried green I got better. I got better insurance, baby. Okay? To wonder. What the fuck? What is that? That's from the movie. From, oh, fried green tomatoes. I don't get the reference because yeah, I'm not that fine. into it. That's fine. Like, I remember that. I remember they, they killed the motherfucker and made him into barbecue at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Mm-hmm. They had the best fried green tomatoes. Yo, you said. Fried... You remember the the damn, the damn name of the. I don't know. It's just funny what sticks. Yeah. I like the movie. I remember, like, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but I was like, us oh, Kathy Bates, and I'll give it a try. It's a good movie. It is. It's a really good movie. Um. Have else. Still, Magnolias is probably on this list too, <laughs> and that was definitely in the '90s, and it's definitely worth <laughs> a watch. Um, I know they remade it with black people. I didn't watch it. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Sometimes a black remake ain't worth it. I didn't think it was necessary. I mean, after you see Julia Roberts almost, well, die on yeah. the damn ground, you know. See, I'm good. What's her face? Oh. <sighs> Sally Fields. Lose her shit. At the goddamn funeral. Yeah. At, at the burial. Yeah. That was enough. I was like, that's acting. I don't need, you can't. Okay, look. It's gonna take a lot for you to. That was an '89 today. movie, by the way. Was it? Which mm-hmm. one? Still Magnolia? Yep. Yeah, okay. '89. Wow, well, they did make a black one. Why? Uh, Some things don't need to be redone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Groundhog's okay. Day. Cla- Yo, anything Bill Murray makes is classic. Uh, every, every <laughs> like name name a bad movie he's been in. I will rewatch Groundhog's Day. Okay. Like, what about Bob Groundhog Day? Um, Ghostbusters, one and two, one being the best. One. Um, just two one. is still great. Just one. Um, um, Scrooge. Scrooge. That's the only movie of his I don't really like. I love that movie. Mainly because, uh, I'm not into it. But that's not, I don't think that's, that's your thing, though. No. You love it. You've got mail. Now, you're talking about a movie that is dates hit. Mm-hmm. But at the time... <laughs> But didn't you tell me that's like that's based on the shop around the corner? Yes. Right. So I I never Old understood. Old movie with Jimmy Stewart, where he's in Budapest. Budapest. Yeah, and 
The shop is called the shop around the corner. What about Devil in a Blue Dress? Is that um, with... Um, There's a Washington and uh, what's his name? Mouse. Mouse. Thank you. My favorite character. Um, Don Cheeto. Easy Rollins. Easy Rollins is right. It's a, it's uh, a Walter there, Mo- it's there, on a Walter Mosley book. Okay. Sidetrack off that. Uh-huh. He is still writing Easy Rollins novels. Okay? Walter Mosley? Yeah, Walter yes. Mosley is fucking prolific. I am behind a few. Yeah. But he's still writing them and I'm still reading them mm-hmm. and it's still good. Yep. That one in the blue dress was the shit. I just got through with a Walter Mosley book. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. He's a good author. He really is. He really is. He really is. Um, totally off track. Father of the Bride. Oh, yeah, that which was Which is good. also a remake. Yeah. Of Father of the Bride with um, but Steve Martin. Tracy. Yeah, but Steve Martin does really good movies, too. He doesn't do them often, but when he does them, they're amazing. Yeah. You know, he, he, he the picks a spot. The person who kills the show um, on Father of the Bride is Martin... Short. Short. Yeah. Well, he's so over the top. Yeah. You didn't like it? What? Father of the Bride? You didn't like his role or you loved it? I said he steals the movie. Oh, steals the show. I thought you said killed the show. No. He steals the movie. The second one, Mm -hmm. they could have kept. Yeah, that was a money grab. But also, also, that was supposed to be because there was a second Father of the Bride movie back then. It was called Mm -hmm. Father's Little Dividend. Mm -hmm. Uh (laughs) Aha! Look at me knowing things. I'm telling (laughs) you. Come to me for your old movie recommendations. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> but you'd be terrible as a lifeline because you don't do well under pressure. No. Yeah. No. Not at all. Um, Aladdin came out in 1992. Ah, uh, here we go. One jump. I hit the bread line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So also, The Lion King came out in the 90s too. It did. I'm uh-huh. sure. Yeah. I don't know what. What? Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. 94. Mm-hmm. Yes. Can't wait. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Shall we? So close. You, you, this is not going to possibly live up to your expectations. You're doing too much. It's actually probably going to be better because they add the shit to it. And you're you're from doing. The, like from the uh, Broadway play. You're doing. No. No. What else came out? What? In the 90s? What? The Mask. Somebody stop me. That movie has not <laughs> aged well. They call me Cuban Pete. Yes. Uh, I'm chick sure. chick a boom, chick chick a boom. Oh, I'm so sure. It I remember. I remember anymore. being in the show. Love. I was a. I love Jim Carrey. Hilarious. The one that held up for me. Something. Tex Avery cartoons are hilarious. And he was literally a Tex Avery cartoon. Yeah. Like that's what he really was. Um, the one that held up for me is uh Bruce Almighty. Mm. Bruce uh, Almighty was, yeah. Mm. Where he gets to be guy for a little while with Jennifer mm-hmm. Aniston, and he makes his. His girlfriend's breast larger. It makes her orgasm. When I give you pleasure, right? Pleasure, you pleasure. Makes the movement all super giant, big for no reason. <laughs> well, it's like it's Fucking like fucking up the world. It's it's about. It shows you that when you have the with great, it's the great power, great responsibility thing. It's that whole thing. Mm. And he was no happier. No. Right. Not at all. Terrible. Um, second one was Evan Almighty. That Did was that actually good. And, nah, it was okay. It, it, was, it was different. It was, and it was Steve Carell, who was, you know, the the bad guy in the first one. Another movie, Home Alone. <clears throat> that was a great one. First one, only one is the only one you need to watch. Yeah, the, the rest of them, the trash. The other two, trash. 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 Absolutely trash. Hot garbage. Money grabs. That's all it is. Hot garbage. The first one was amazing. Like, how to, like, I mean, you know, the first time, okay. How y'all leave him again? Y'all trying to kill his kid. That's what's going on. That's called neglect. I'm not calling neglect. They trying to murder CPS this kid. CPS needs to be brought out to that household. Mm-hmm. Those parents are not capable of raising kids. They never forgot they the other kids. Yeah. They, and they were assholes. You know, you, you got a problem with little Kevin, though. They were trying movie, to John Bonet Kevin. I do Bonet not Kevin. recommend. Do not. Girl Interrupted. Do not watch that movie. Oh. Do not watch that movie. Oh, I, is so that the nineties? That can't be the nineties. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Girl Interrupted. I thought we watched that together. No, we never watched Girl Interrupted because after the first time I ever watched it, I never needed to watch. What's it again. the one that we watched? That I was like, oh my god, never again. I don't know. Oh, Julia Roberts movie. That's Winona Mona Ryder. Lisa Smile. No. Oh. No, that's not it, then. If you're talking about Julia Roberts and... No, no, it's the Mona Lisa Spy. That's the one. That was... Yeah. 
But that's not a nineties movie, so The Girl Interrupted is terrible. So fucked up. I can't it's just it's so fucked up. That movie is But you know what's not fucked up? Cruel intentions. I love yeah. that movie. I fucking love I hate that movie. That movie. Shout out to my sister. This is our movie. Really? This is our movie. Cruel intentions. You know what? Everyone has bad movies that they like. Now look, they did a Cruel Intentions 2, and then they did a Cruel Intentions prequel. Ugh, why? You didn't need neither one of those. Nope, just keep the one. Because after he died, who else's story do I want to know? No one's. I don't want to know anyone else's story. I don't want to know how they met and became brother and sister. I don't need any of that. Didn't need any of that. That's the Ryan Phillippe. Reese Witherspoon. Not Reese Witherspoon. Is that Reese Witherspoon? That's No, I think you're thinking of something different. This is, is this not Reese Witherspoon? Let me look it up. I get it on my thing. Hold on. Sarah Michelle Geller is in it. Right. The dark hair one. That's the one I remember. And, um. You know what? This ain't the one I was thinking was trash. It was that other one. With Kevin Bacon in it. Where they fuck in the pool. I don't know what movie you're talking about. It wasn't Cruel Intention though. But that's what I thought Kevin she was talking about. Kevin Bacon? Yeah, Kevin Bacon was in it. He was fucking the mama, and then like the it was. I think it was Sarah Michelle Gellar. She was in it. I don't know what movie that is. Cry Baby. I highly recommend Cry Baby. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Johnny Depp. I love Johnny Depp movies. Okay. Cry Baby. What's eating Gilbert Grape? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're a huge fan of. I'm a huge fan of Johnny Depp. Okay. Uh, the Pirates movies, you can keep all of that. But No, I, I love the Pirates movies. Him and Leo, before fame, when they were just... The, Leo's also in What's Eating Gilbert Great. Yeah. That was his star turn, actually. Yeah, great movies. Mm-hmm. Crybaby. The music is what will get you. Okay, there's a lot of... um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, racist kind of... Things in it. Wait, what? It might trigger you just a little bit. What are you talking about? What? what? And cry baby. Like the way the black people talk, act. The grandmother has a Confederate flag in her house. They're rednecks. Cry and baby. In cry baby, John Waters. You're thinking about hairspray. Maybe. But cry baby and hairspray are along the. I think it's all also, John Waters. Also, both have movies have Ricky Lake in them. Yeah, John Waters. Hmm. They're both John Waters movies. Yeah. So it's all Baltimore. It's all dealing with how race and all of that shit interacts. So yeah, he's he's gonna lay it bare. He yeah, it's gonna trigger you because it's supposed to. That's the point. He's showing you the bullshit that goes on. So Scream is also a nineties movie, right? Okay. Which rejuvenated horror because yeah. horror has stagnated. I'm not into horror personally, but I will watch the first Scream. Well, Scream is funny, and I also make, like the parodies of Screams. Mm-hmm. Those are funny. The scary movie? Yes, I love those. Those are those are way better than Scream. Yeah. The the first two. Mm-hmm. After that, it just got dumb. Of course. Right. But the first two... Fish Called Wanda. Why is this on here? That's 1988. See? You love A Fish Called Wanda, It's though. a good movie, but it's not. I've never liked that movie. 1990s. I've ne- that's Kevin Klein. You like Kevin Klein. I love Kevin Klein. Yeah. Also... One of my favorite actors. Kevin yeah, Klein. you have very eclectic taste in actors. Kevin Klein does the movie, in it, in and out. In and out, yep. Where he gets out. Love that. That's probably a nineties movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, where he comes out the closet. Mm-hmm. And then, well, he's forced out the closet. Yeah. Like this teacher, Great this movie. that and other. He's up at a war ceremony. I like to thank my teachers. Blah blah blah. And he's gay. Like thanks. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. And a then movie um, that most people like Hocus Pocus. I've, yeah. never, I've never been able to get into it. Yeah. Nah. 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 Is this just turning into us naming movies podcast? This is a 90s movie. Uh. I'm trying to fill out. Uh, I'm fucking it up, but yeah. I'm trying to fill out. What the fuck did you do it? I'm sorry. This is like. I'm boring I'm myself. Like, like I'm, I'm going one. to sleep this on one. this shit. Please Ten stop. Ten things I hate about you. Okay. Oh, now that. Now, Ten I things like that. I hate about you. It's, it's a retelling of Taming of the Shrew. Yes. Right. Stars a young um, Ledger. 
Heath Ledger. Yep. Heath Ledger. Mm-hmm. Okay. Julia Stiles. Mm-hmm. And it Highly has. Highly recommended. It has the weirdest, most awkward dance. So what is it? Uh, it's the Biggie song. It's the Biggie. Uh, uh. Hypnotize. Uh-huh. Hypnotize. Yes. And she just gets out, and she's like, I'm just like, gets up on top of the table and starts start, dancing. Just start twerking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow. I said one more, but okay, another Julia style movie that I love with Freddie Prince Jr. Fuck. Is that the one we tried to commit suicide? Is that the yes. one we're talking about? Oh, God. Just look up Freddie Prince. My head. My brain. Hold on. That's Down the, to you. That's the one where she's... uh. And that's going to be my last recommend right there because <laughs> it's awesome. That's the one where he's a cook, right? He's a chef. Mm-hmm. Yes. I love that movie. That's not a 90s movie. That's a 2000 movie, though. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, I still recommend it, though, y'all. If you're going to go 90s movie, it would be, be She's All That, which I also like. I like that one too, mm-hmm. but I like Down to You better. I do like Down to You better. 